We are moving towards more urbanized UAV deployment. We're seeing them need to navigate through cluttered environments or need to react on really gusty days. We see birds doing this regularly, and they can supersede our modern UAVs largely due to their maneuverability. It's been thought for several decades that everything about bird flight would be unstable and that that lack of stability is what conferred to them high maneuverability. And what we found was evidence that evolution is not selecting towards just unstable flight, but birds have the capacity to move between stable and unstable flight. Most birds are able to actually adapt a configuration that's either passively stable, which allows them to kind of reject gusts and maintain a stable flight position, but they can then adapt other configurations of their wing that conversely make them very unstable and hence very maneuverable. The basic piece that really like underlays all of this work was the development of our software, which is called Avinertia. It takes in measurements of the length of the bird, the length of the tail, the length of the torso, the mass of the legs. And then with this information, you model things as simple shapes. Because we know these simple shapes, center of gravity and the moment of inertia, you can then use traditional techniques to just combine them. As those masses move during wing morphing of all the different components in the wing, the stability of the bird as a whole can be altered. We can then take that information and, and use it for a human-designed aircraft. Anything that might be engineered to have a wing that could dynamically change its shape might be inspired by the fundamental biology that, that we appreciate from birds. Evolution really could tell us something that's beneficial for aircraft design. If we can then incorporate into these UAVs that we're trying to deploy in these more urban areas or these more gusty environments, uh, maybe that's where we'd start to see change.